hi guys merry christmas and happy new year i feel like i have not vlogged for a long time or have done a sit down vlog for a long time so now i'm doing just a very very quick vlog because i just got home from buying a new pair of shoes from nike is it nike yeah it is so i went to shangri-la to buy this so the name of this store is here the athletes food actually i've been wanting to buy um nike i don't know if this is the correct pronunciation there's always like a debate about the correct pronunciation if it's nike or nike but i believe it's nike so i've been eyeing of buying the air force one white because i saw one of my friends saw me buy one but i've been to nike park in galleria in toby's in mega mall and just like everywhere here in ortigas and the white is already sold out they already they only have the black one so i was supposed to buy that earlier when i went to shangri-la but they also have just the black one i tried it but it's really not good well i was also wearing all black today black shirt black pants and i noticed that it's not very good it's not like you can't pair it with your daily clothing so here's what i bought Ta -da! so here's what i bought so as you can see the box um the name is w stands for white i think it's nike m2k techno is that right yep actually i've never heard about this before i just saw it in the store earlier and it caught my eye because it's like a dad shoe just like my disruptor dad shoes are in it's called dad shoe ugly shoes it's i don't know if it's gonna be out of style this year but i really like it i don't know why anyway so here's the inside So let's check. Okay, so here is the inside. What I bought is color. I don't know if I'm gonna use the simple terms of color. I'll call it yellow, but it's like light mustard yellow here. And there's a gray part here. And then there's a very little check, of course, the logo of Nike. And then the white here, black waves. Black waves. <laughs> this is the only color they have for women, but for men, they have the black and white. And then, to be honest, I was not able to, to inspect this before I bought it. I just tried it once. And then I felt that it's very light and comfortable so I don't know I think I'm that kind of person that you already know what you want once you see it I don't really inspect the stitches or if there's damage maybe if there's a very obvious damage I will see it but if it's too little of a detail I won't really notice that because I'm really after the comfort so here is the back side oh it's rubbery <laughs> I did not see this earlier it's good thing because where I'm working Emerald Avenue the tiles are very slippery and it always rains these days so yep this is good for me and then I think that's pretty much it yeah there is also a logo here that says Nike here mm. I'm not used to 
doing an unboxing especially of shoes I've only done it once when I went home from Korea so that's it I and then more details about the shoes I did a quick research before I turned the camera on and I saw that it was released in America in May 2018 and it was only for women they only had like women sizes and later on came up with men sizes also um, when I went to the store I asked Ate, I asked the sales staff when was it released and then she told me that it was just released in December and that it was only delivered to their store on December 29th and they're running out of stocks so I'm not sure if it was released really late here in the Philippines if it's really released in December or just in their store because it's not a Nike store but it's a franchise store the athletes um athletes food yeah the athletes food um the price uh, okay so the price is really important so just like what I told you earlier, I was supposed to buy the Air Force One. That's 4,995 pesos. And this one has the same price, 4,995 pesos. But I saved a lot because I received a voucher, gift away voucher from Citibank. So I did not buy it that expensively. I also wanted the Cortez or the Forest Gump shoes but aside from everyone is wearing it now I mean, I mean I really don't care if everyone is wearing it now just like the disruptor when I bought it everyone's wearing it in Korea and then apparently a lot of people are wearing it in the Philippines too I really don't care about that as long as it's comfortable and it looks nice but they had no size they only had size 9 and I'm size 7.5 so I was really frustrated because I really wanted the Air Force one and they didn't have other colors and then the Cortez is my second option and they didn't have the size so I bought this but uh, this is a good one as well I mean it's not a bad choice though it's very casual and yeah I think I'll be casual forever all my shoes are like these so yep okay uh, what else when it comes to shoes, I'm not really a collector. Um, if you met me like three years ago or four years ago, I've always worn doll shoes. But I realized that it's very uncomfortable. Like I'm always having leg cramps and it's very slippery too when it's raining. So I switched to sneakers and I don't often buy sneakers the last one I bought was a disruptor but before that uh, I bought the is it Stan Smith of Adidas and I used it for a year and a half now like I used it every day in all the countries that I went to even in Vietnam the first country I went to and that was February I was already wearing that even before before that so even if I buy expensive shoes I use it like a very long time and almost every day so I compute like this it's not that I'm justifying I, I'm just like um, want people to know if it's worth it to invest on expensive shoes or branded shoes it's not very expensive compared to other brands but it's not that cheap as well so let's say you bought a pair of shoes worth 5,000 pesos and then you divide it to 12 because yeah there are 12 months in a year so it's like you're just paying wait calcul <laughs> I think you're just paying 500 monthly something like that I'm so poor at math 5,000 divided 12 yeah so it's like you're just paying 416 pesos monthly for your shoes so not bad because you're gonna use it for a very long time so that's it. all I just did a quick unboxing so that you'll have an idea what shoes are you going to buy if ever you'll have the money so that's it and please don't forget to subscribe bye